Those of us that know what we're doing with Ecamm absolutely love profiles. And sadly, a lot of new users don't even realize what we're getting so excited about. So that's why I wanted to slip this video in because you're already using a profile. If you head up to the top, let's click on the main window so that Ecamm comes up at the top and look at profile. You're already using one that's likely just called blank profile. So you're in a profile whether you like it or not. Now, what this means is as we build out your scenes and we start putting in some overlays and things, you can actually save this and export it to another computer. I know of customers that absolutely love this feature. They've got a desktop machine, maybe an iMac or a Mac mini, but they've also got a MacBook Pro that they take away with them. So when they build out some scenes and create a show over here, they can export that profile, go over to the other machine, import it, and everything is there exactly the same as it is on this one. That also means that I can save out a profile here and send it to somebody else, or somebody else can build a profile for me and I can bring it into here. In fact, when we build out some scenes in the next video, I'm gonna give you a link so you can download exactly what we've built and then you can bring it into your end and work along with me. So what actually is getting saved in that profile? Well, all of the scenes that I create, all of the overlays that are then embedded into each of those scenes, all the colors, the branding, you're gonna see in that next video, we can put different colors around things, we can change styles and colors of our font, we can add sound files in, any images or logos that we bring on, any video clips. It'll even save things like whether we choose 1080p for the file size or 4K, whether we wanna go in this wide view or we wanna do a vertical video. So it's really powerful what we can do with these profiles. Let me just demonstrate actually with some of those profiles that you saw up there. I run several academies. We've got our ELA Live. This is our Ecamm Live Academy. So when I click on this, this is all gonna jump across and populate with what I do on here. And you'll see that there's, for instance, this intro. Then it's gonna to come to this scene of me, branded up. Let me just take those controls off so you can see what this looks like. I've got things like comments that is probably, yeah, it's not quite pulling in correctly. What else can I show you? An interview, so me with a guest at the side, me with two guests, uh, three guests like this. So you get the idea. Everything that I've made in that profile has copied across to here. And notice that the colors on this one, my orange, my text, the things down here is, is unique to this profile. So when I click another one, and I'm gonna go across, this is my YouTube Academy. You can see that what I've got up there was a differently branded intro. You can see that the colors have all changed. And uh, so because I do the YouTube Academy with Owen, there's a camera for him sitting ready to go at the side here. And uh, when we want to do, uh, normally I'm then bringing in Owen's screen. So we have a third camera down here that at the minute is just locked in as this one. You can see now how we're using this camera switcher and so, Camera A is allocated to me, camera B would be allocated to Owen, and camera C would be bringing his, his computer in as another camera overlay. We're not gonna get into the technicals of that at the minute, but I just want you to see how when I'm switching between profiles, it keeps all of this information. And if, for instance, Owen had designed this and built it out for me, he could have sent it across to my computer and said, right, just remember that camera A is you, camera B is me, and camera three, camera C is going to be my computer. And then I bring it into here and um, set it all up and away it goes. I can also have different ones for 4K recordings. So I know that when I'm in that one, everything is set to 4K. I've got different webinars and things in here. And right now we're using this Ecamm onboarding profile and it's brought us back here to this default one that we've got. I love that once I've built these out, as you saw there, it takes me seconds to just switch between them. So for now, work in your default profile. Don't worry about this. It might not be that you have all those different things going on. Um, if you do, just kind of park that thought for a minute because what you do is we'll, we'll work in this profile here and you'll notice that what I can do is say duplicate the current profile. So when I went from the Ecamm one to the YouTube one, I duplicated it across 
and then I just changed the little accent colors. So the oranges became the reds, uh, the logos changed, things like that. Um, so you're not having to start from scratch every time. We can use these profiles to duplicate them across and then just delete out the bits that we don't want. Honestly, this is so powerful. I love this feature. And that's why I just wanted to make sure you heard about it up front here. Now let's get into that next video. I really am looking forward to building out some scenes with you. And uh, please don't be overwhelmed by it. You're going to see us doing some fairly advanced things, but I just want you to be going, ah, okay, yeah, I'm understanding how he's building these things out. And as I say, at the end of that next video, you're going to have a link to a download of everything that we've built out that I can send to you. And you'll open it upon your computer and it'll look like this, except it won't be me sitting there, it'll be you. So let's go and have a play.